All right, Pisces, we're going to jump into your rating. We're going to see who you need to watch out for in your environment, okay? If you guys need anything, check out that description. Readings through me are open. Um, you can grab them down below. There's a keen offer, first 10 minutes, only $1.99. And be on the lookout for the courses. I've got a tarot course and a manifestation course coming out that will be very affordable. Okay, let's jump into this. So I was getting that there could be somebody that you've been dealing with, have dealt with, will be dealing with. There's something here where you've been thinking about this person and how you can't trust them. There's a sense that you're very concerned. You feel like this person is false in some sense, form, or fashion. This person could be older than you. They don't have to be. But I get this sense here that you feel like this person... I'm getting an overwhelming headache. So this person could give you a headache. I feel like this person could also drain your energy. So in the first reading that I just did and I, I, I had to stop. There's a sense of expectation that this person has on you and there's a sense of entitlement and a sense of I expect you to do this. Uh, I just heard their privilege so take that how it resonates but there's something here where you need to watch out for this person. Again there's thoughts, there's concern, there's something going on. <clears throat> okay who else does Pisces need to watch out for? Because that deck's done. That's what I kept getting with that deck. I feel like this person, I don't know. I feel like this person could bring in some sort of drama. Yeah, there's a very wounded energy from this person. I feel like you feel you need to protect your energy from whoever this person is. This person, whoever this person is, Pisces. I, okay, first off, I'm tired of saying that. So whoever this is, this person could repeat theirself over and over and over. Whoever this is likes getting attention. They're very bound in their head. I feel like they don't like to see that they're doing any wrong. There's something here where I feel like your traditions and your beliefs are different, but there's a sense that this person's wounded, and you're going to get some sort of clarity. Um, you're going to get some sort of clarity about some sort of selfish energy that this person portrayed in the past. So there's been some sneaky shit this person's been doing behind your back, Pisces. This person could be talking about you. They could be, this person really needs to heal. They have a problem about paying attention to the things that aren't working out. They're very mean with their words. They're very black and white. They don't want to heal. They maybe like to argue with people as well. But you're going to find out some sort of truth. And you could absolutely get some sort of apology. But you're going to find out something. You're going to find out about some sort of selfish behavior. Behavior or something in the past where you were like, what the hell? There's a sense here that whoever this person is, you're feeling like you can't necessarily move it out of rough waters into calmer waters. There's constant drama, conflict. And maybe there's even an energy here where this person wants to be recognized or get some sort of recognition and feels like they're not getting it. Yeah. They're telling you to balance how you invest with this person. This is either a family member or friend, somebody that you're very close to. They're telling you to hold back. Your intuition's telling you something's up. Your intuition's telling you that not everything is, is what it seems and that you need to hold on to everything to your chest. There's a, some sort of celebration coming up for you very soon, Pisces. Some sort of... Maybe dealing with family, friends, going out, enjoying. There could literally be something that's coming in for you very soon that you're going to want to celebrate. But they're telling you to balance something out because they're telling you not to invest with this person. For some of you, this could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It doesn't have to be. There's a selfish energy here. A very selfish energy with this person. Some of you also have an offer coming in from someone. An offer that you've been waiting on. This could have to do with work. There could be two bosses that's going to offer you a job, a promotion. Some of you could be getting some sort of inheritance or some sort of family money that you didn't expect. Some of you could be getting some sort of money from the universe. And it's a gift for you turning your back and not arguing with some sort of family or something like that. There's something here where you've had multiple options, Pisces. Multiple paths. And you've always choose the, choose the path Hold on a second. I'm getting very, like, anxious. You've always chose the path that grew you, that expanded you, that made you a better person. And because of that, there's a sense of stability, a sense of abundance. 
that you're going to have coming in, especially when it comes to your money. I'm seeing a shit ton of pentacles. And you're taking control of your life in maybe a way that other people don't see possible because you feel like the universe is give the universe. Yeah, is giving you an opportunity and you want to take it. Some of you could be going to a university. You could be getting offered a scholarship or something from a university. Because that's what I thought I said when I said universe. I thought I said university. But I feel like there could be some sort of temptation that's going to try to come in. I feel like there's going to be somebody trying to come in. And I feel like it's this selfish energy. Somebody who's very wounded. Again, whoever this is. Somebody that you could have been investing in or somebody that you kind of want to invest in but you've been unsure. There's a need here for you to change your perspective. Because I feel like this person's very stuck. I feel like there's a very stagnant energy. A very selfish energy. And I feel like there's a need here for you to view your past choices and past mistakes when it comes to this person. I feel like you have a weak spot for this person. Again, I'm getting Capricorn Virgo Taurus. And I'm seeing a spotter. Hold on a second. Sorry. I know y'all are going to probably come at me because I killed a spotter. But listen. I got fear. So maybe that's it, Pisces. Maybe this person's full of fear. Maybe this person is full of fear. There's secrets. There's truths. There's part about this person that you don't know. Things that this person has said. Ways that this person's acted that really could break you down and break your heart. And it could actually come out to the surface. Because this person has been trying to keep you confused. Or keep some sort of illusion going. But it's not working anymore. There's a sense here that you're going to walk away because you're feeling burdened. You're feeling stressed out. And you're feeling that the pleasures of dealing with this person isn't paying off anymore. Give me more. Give me more for who's the snake. Give me more for who Pisces don't need to be trusting in their environment. Somebody's going to come in, Pisces, and try to tell you that they're a lot more independent and abundant than what they are. I feel like you don't need to trust this person. This person could be somebody that's going to want to offer you love. It could be a loving connection. It could be somebody that you've had a connection with in the past or somebody that you feel strongly guided connected to but again there's a sense here where I feel like this person's wounded and you're needing to protect what you have this could be a earth sign doesn't have to be why do we have so many earth signs but this person does want to come in and give you some sort of truth it could be about some sort of emotion or illusion that they've been having something that they've been self-reflecting on they feel like they've changed their perspective and maybe there's an energy here where you guys weren't on the same page but now they feel like you are but I do feel like there's a sense here where they could want to come in and feed you some sort of illusion when it comes to their independence. Because I don't feel like they're as independent, as abundant, or as stable as you are. I feel like this person wants to come in and flirt and keep this lighthearted. But there's also a burden or a stress when it comes to them actually giving an emotional offer. Being the person that they need to be for you. Which is why they're telling you to be careful. And I mean, it's showing up in the snake reading for a reason. There's a sense here that this person's going to come in and maybe try to pull the wool over your eyes. And the magician, you got to be careful with that because the magician, yeah, you can manifest anything you want in your life. You can make what you want happen. But the magician can also be somebody that's going to come in and pull the wool over your eyes. And maybe it's just a passionate only connection. And they're a real good a trickster. Um, because I did see the Nine of Wands, Strength. So I do feel like there is, again, an energy here, like I had said, where somebody's going to come in and tempt you. And you're going to need to know that this person isn't what they seem. And I feel like this person could come in and really talk to you in a way that you wanted to be talked to. Treated in a way that you want to be treated. But I do feel like there's an energy here where, I don't know, Pisces, I'm just not getting... Take it slow. That's what I'm getting. Take it slow. Yeah, five of wands. As I just said that, there's a sense here where you could be on the diff you could be on different pages, different truths, different feelings. There could be multiple people involved. There's something here where I feel like it's the kind of energy where you really get into it one night and you're really excited to be around this person again and you're really just happy to be with them. And next thing you know. You wake up the next morning and you're like, shit, I wish I wouldn't have did that because now I'm just not sure what this is. What if this happens? There, there's, there's a need for there to be clear communication from the start. But I'm hearing I can't control myself any longer. So whoever this is is somebody that can't control their self, which is why they're wanting to come in. But their intentions aren't going to be known. So be careful with that. That's why, you, that's why you need to watch out for this person. 
I'm stuttering. I'm having a hard time talking. I'm getting very anxious and excited. Hold on a second. Give me more. Give me more for the snakes in Pisces environment. Pisces, there's a lot of people in your environment right now that are not who, that are not who they seem. And you can feel it. A lot of there could be a lot of players coming your way, a lot of people that are very passionately drawn towards you. There could just be a lot of people as well that are taking actions and not necessarily thinking about the long-term consequences or what's going to happen in a few weeks based off of their actions. Again, there's a sense here of confusion and illusion. And you letting things fall as they are, be willing to go into new options to get that clarity that you feel you need. And I feel like you're going to get victory and success. Give me more about these snakes. What does Pisces need to know about these snakes? You're going to know who they are by the lack of investment. Keeping them in your life is, become, is going to become more of a burden than an investment. There's a sense here, though, that you have a lot of love for some of these people. You feel very deeply emotionally bonded to some of these people. And maybe, again, these are acquaintances. Hell, these could be co-workers that you've worked with for 10 years. And let me tell you something. Ashley don't know how to shut her mouth, but you love Ashley. That's the kind of energy I'm getting here. But the universe is saying, yo, don't trust Ashley. Ashley ain't worth investing in. Ashley stresses you out. Ashley's always on to some little pleasure, not thinking about the long term. This person's constantly breaking people's hearts and expecting them to move. There's an energy here where somebody's constantly doing things, not caring about you, whether it be the way that they're talking about you, their actions. I'm getting a very selfish energy from somebody. Very selfish energy. And it's like, well, why won't you work on this with me. Why won't you move out of rough waters into calmer waters with me? There's a sense of, I expect you to do this for me. And I feel like you're tired of that expectation. I feel like the universe is telling you the universe. Yeah. I keep hearing university. When I say universe, I hear university. That's so interesting. Okay. There could be somebody coming in wanting to speak some sort of truth to you. This person's sad. This person's disappointed. They're going to want to take some sort of quick action and communicate with you very quickly. But again, there's a sense here where I feel like you've been waiting for balance from this person and they can't necessarily give you that. There is a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry and there is a lot of love behind the scenes. But this person's also really in their head when it comes to taking an offer. They they tend to get stuck in a rut and not be able to see a way past it. Which I guess, no, I'm not going to say I guess. That's why I feel like the universe is telling you that they are a snake. Because yeah, I can come in all day and tell you I miss you. I can come in all day and give you some sort of truth. But that don't mean anything. I feel like somebody could also be spying on you. Somebody that you used to deal with, this person could be trying to get information on you. I feel like this was only a passionate connection. I feel like it went, it could have lasted eight months. It didn't have to. I feel like it started very quickly, ended very quickly. There's a sense here where somebody's been waiting for things to be balanced. There's a lot of divine timing, but maybe there's also an energy where you've turned your back on this person because you see that they're never going to actually invest and move your way. There's an energy that you feel like this person is stuck and no longer has an offer to bring in. But here's the thing. I feel like this person's watching you and reflecting on some sort of ending because there is something here where they had a lot of fun with you and they want to be able to heal it and move maybe to a different season of life with you. But I'm going to be honest, I feel like they're worried that things would turn out like it used to if they actually worked on it. And I'm going to be honest again, I feel like even if you invested with this person again, it could possibly get back to the, the way that it used to be. I feel like they're wanting you to listen to your intuition because I feel like intuitively there's an energy here where this person in the past, you invested with them in some sense, form or fashion, and it didn't get where you wanted it to. 
They're reflecting on the ending because you guys no longer speak. They're spying. They're trying to get information. It's not happening. This person misses you. They want to be around you. They want to see you. But they might not want to be around you and see you in the way that you want to be around and be seen. That's what I'm getting. I feel like you make this person's child like self feel very safe but you also make this person feel very vulnerable in a place that they don't really like they don't like feeling vulnerable but i do see some sort of communication here and that could actually be a cycle ending and beginning between you two y'all could get to a different part of your connection but maybe not where it used to be does that make sense now why is this person a snake why is this person a snake why is this person a snake? Why does Pisces need to be careful of this person? Because I feel like there is an energy here where you could be at a crossroads. Oh, I just got hit in the gut. I feel like this person could be feeling you moving away, and that's why they're wanting to come in, because they don't want you to necessarily move away, but they don't want to necessarily give you what you want. It's like they don't want to be your long-term partner yet. Oh, I'm getting so anxious. But they also know that you could be... a. They also know that you're currently attracting new energy. This is for you if you're single. Yeah, see, there's a sense here where I know I'm going to have new competition coming in, and I do want to compete for your energy, but we're still on different pages. That's why there is snake in your environment. That's why you can't trust them. There's an ending here, an agonizing ending, and they still can't see a way past what it always has been. But they want things to be what it used to be or how it how it has been. So the fact that you're changing it or wanting to go to maybe, hold on, I'm, you hear me? I'm getting all tore up. The fact that you're wanting to change it or maybe even go to something better, something more, something different, it bothers me. But I don't want to tell you that it bothers me. I don't want to tell you that I'm going to miss you and that I love you and that I want something more because I don't want something more. But I do. But I don't. Does that make sense? That makes sense. But there's an energy here of you going, I don't care what you want. You're seeing things very black and white. And you're being very cautious on what you're investing in. There could also be somebody getting their justice in your environment. So there's an energy here where there's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be a male. It doesn't have to be. Things are balancing out between you and this person. I feel like this person's always had a very carefree energy, and I feel like they didn't necessarily invest or give how they should have. This person's always been very back and forth, and when it comes to them going back and forth, they've always chose what they've wanted very selfishly. They've always been very sneaky, somewhat manipulative. I feel like this person could have lied. There's a very sneaky energy about this person. But again, this person's getting what they deserve, and what they deserve is you not investing with them. So there's an energy here, Pisces, where this person could be coming here in the near future or here in the past. They could have come to you and wanted to have a conversation or go towards a new path. This person was hoping that they could pull on your heart. They were hoping that you guys had moved out, moved out of rough waters into calmer waters enough to where your heart would be open to this person. But again, I'm seeing that they got their justice and you didn't necessarily give to this person because I feel like they breadcrumbed you. Yeah, you threw your wall up. And it's burdening this person because maybe you've not ever approached this person like that. I see you putting a wall up and turning your back. But there's something here where you're opening new emotional experiences because you're holding back on what you're giving. And there's somebody going to be coming in, Pisces, that's wanting to be very vulnerable with you. I feel like that's a good energy, though. And we're trying to keep with the snakes, so... Okay, um, advice, advice for Pisces, advice for Pisces, advice for Pisces, for the snakes in the environment. Trust what you're feeling, because what you're feeling is true. You don't have to carry that burden. You know what to do. That's what I just heard. Somebody could have a drinking problem. Somebody could like to keep people confused. Yeah, look beyond the surface. Avoid becoming distracted by surface issues. You need to focus on the underlying motivation or the cause. Seek ways to bring depth to your world. And I feel like you're getting a lot of blessings, but I also feel like there's a lot of people tugging on your energy. I feel like there's an energy here where you're very complex. You're very multi-talented. You have this childlike energy. You embrace who you are and you love who you are. But I feel like there's also a sense here where you 
um, can trigger people. I feel like people see you as an unexplained person who has things coming in that they can't seem to explain, and it really just kind of triggers them. I do feel like there's a sense here where there's balance coming in into your life, um, and I feel like you just need to be neutral on what's happening because I do feel like a lot of people's colors, true intentions are going to come to the surface, and I do feel like, for some of you, it's going to be things that maybe you've been scared to see or not wanting to see, but ultimately, I feel like you do know deep down what's going on, and I feel like you know it's because you're attracting different energy. You're attracting better energy, and there's come to a point where you've started recognizing things inside of yourself that you didn't like, and you're changing it, and now that you're doing that, you're reevaluating everything, everything outside of yourself. And what you're seeing, what you're looking at, isn't what you like, isn't who you want to be. Set some intentions. You're entering a new phase of your life, a phase of plenty, and you could be having a sudden windfall. Your goals are within your grasp. This is the second reading where I had windfall. So again, you're going to have a lot of abundance, a lot of money, a lot of prosperity coming your way. And there could be a lot of people who are not going to be happy for you, but it does not matter. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to access what is going on around you. There's an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life. Utilize this relationship. There could be somebody that you're in contact with Pisces where you feel like this person understands you you feel like you're on the same journey right now and the universe is saying listen you you can there's a reason we put that relationship that person and that connection in your life it's for you to be able to hold on to it as all this change comes through I do feel like they're wanting you to be in constant check of what's going around you because again I get a sense of confusion a lot going on and I'm getting a sense of holding firm in your boundaries if you are feeling something if you're desiring something hold very firm to that now some of you this could just be advice there could be an urge or something where you're wanting to move into something very quickly but they're telling you to slow down because you could absolutely miss some sort of detail or some sort of information that's going to become beneficial to you again there's a sense of putting what you're investing in people places things on a pause and start reflecting at them start reflecting at them start reflecting on them you need to figure out where you're going and who you're taking because not everybody's worth your investment and i'm seeing one person going with you so i feel like a lot of you or letting a lot of people go rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible yeah pisces hmm. okay i think we're gonna leave that here have a blessed day